given that it's likely that we're going to have a sort of uh, an, an exit negotiated over a two-year period, and there'll be a number of details that need to be sort of fleshed out as a result of that, the immediate thought that the multinationals should have in the event of a vote to leave is what do they think would work best for businesses, uh, and they should probably look to initiate discussions with the government about what we should look to do going forward, in particular how we retain some kind of trading relationship with the EU and on what basis that occurs. That's probably going to be vital, um, particularly when it comes to contingency planning. Um, for example, multinationals that trade goods and services uh, within the EU currently, the landscape may look very different if we choose to leave, for example. And if the government made good on their promise to actually immediately serve notice on the EU that we wish to leave following a vote to, to go, what happens is that there's a, uh, initially a two-year period for the exit to be negotiated. Uh, and I think that we are of the view that it would have to be a negotiated exit because there are a number of complexities that need to be dealt with. Um, what would also happen is that the UK would have to think about, as part of negotiating that exit, what type of residual relationship it would like to have with the EU. So from a tax perspective, one of the things, for example, that we'll be thinking about is how we would like to deal with things like customs and excise duties and VAT going forward. Um, being part of the EU means that um, uh, import duties and import VAT don't impact cross-border supplies of goods, and that's something that we'd have to look at as part of a negotiated exit. If we were to leave the EU in its entirety, then we would be trading with the EU as a member of the World Trade Organization, much like a number of other third countries at the moment. We could look to potentially join the EU Free Trade Association and the EEA, uh, like Norway, uh, um, we could choose to join just the EU Free Trade Association um, in, a, like, in the way Switzerland have. Um, and that would potentially offer us the opportunity to uh, negotiate third country deals with the EU. However, it's important to bear in mind that the way a negotiated exit works is that a number of these issues would have to be dealt with and the detail would need to be looked at. And it's unlikely that the EU would allow us to join those associations or all those areas without there needing to be something given by the UK in return. From a tax perspective, that could potentially mean continuing to adhere to some of the regulations and directives um, that have been uh, instituted by the EU that we're currently governed by. So it shouldn't be assumed that even if we were to leave the EU, if we wanted to retain some kind of trading relationship with the EU, that we could simply drop all tax rules that are driven by EU legislation. I think that it is likely that given the UK's commitment to trying to implement BEPS and being keen to be seen as a sort of a leader in the implementation of BEPS, the likelihood is, is that a number of the tax changes that we would make would be matched by changes that are going to be made across the EU in any case. Uh, so the likelihood is, is that the OECD changes that are driven by uh, BEPS are going to come whether we stay or leave, and therefore changes that we make will mirror changes that are going to be made in uh, other EU countries. There's always the possibility that there would be some slight differences because there's always the danger when it comes to implementation that we could go a different way from the EU jurisdictions. If we're no longer part of the EU, we wouldn't, for example, be required to implement the EU Anti-Tax Avoidance Directive, the proposal which was recently uh, um, adopted um, uh, by uh, ECOFIN. Uh, so that is something to bear in mind, but given the fact that the tax code will be in flux generally, it is possible that a number of these changes would look similar whether we stayed in the EU or left the EU.